Hey scholars, it's Mrs. Jasnika, and today for art class, we're gonna be drawing jellyfish together. Now for this project, you're gonna need a pencil, a piece of paper, and anything that you could color with, such as markers, colored pencils, or crayons. Let's get started. So to begin our jellyfish, the first thing we wanna do is start with the top of the jellyfish. Now, this part of the jellyfish is called the umbrella. I'm gonna begin at the top of my paper, right in the middle, and I'm going to make the shape of an upside down U. Now you can take your time. It's okay to go slow, and it's okay to mess up. If you mess up, just use your eraser or turn your paper around. Now after we make this shape, I'm gonna curve the corners in like so. So all I'm doing is making this kind of curved shape like this. And now I'm gonna close the top. So to do this, I'm actually gonna turn my paper and I'm just gonna connect the lines. Now, we're gonna make the tentacles. So there's all kinds of different jellyfish and they all have different tentacles. Some of them have ones that look like little noodles. Some of them look like seaweed. So we're gonna make this jellyfish with seaweed looking tentacles and also the ones that look like noodles. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a squiggly line like this that goes all the way down to the bottom of the page. So to do this, I am going like this, like I'm making an S over and over. Now I have to make the other side. So again, I'm starting at the top where the umbrella of the jellyfish is and I'm gonna keep making squiggly lines and then connect it at the bottom. Now I'm gonna make another one. This one, I'm gonna make it go out. That way it looks different. Now you can have a lot of fun with these because you can just keep making wiggly lines and see what shapes you make. I'm gonna make one more. This one's gonna come up and then down. And then I have to close it. So I'm gonna make another squiggly line next to it and then close it. So those are the three tentacles that I made here. The rest of them are gonna be much easier to make. So the rest of them are gonna look kind of like wavy noodles. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna go down. It's okay if the lines go on top of each other. And then I'm gonna put another line right next to it and then close it at the bottom. And I'm gonna keep making these wavy lines and then another line next to it until I have probably like five or six of these little noodle tentacles. Now, you notice that here and here, the tentacles cross on top of each other. That's called overlapping. So I have to decide which tentacle is in front of the other tentacle. So if this noodle tentacle is in front of this one that looks like seaweed, I have to erase this little part right here, because that means that I can't see the back tentacle when it's under this one. So I'm gonna do the same thing right here. There we go. So every time I make a tentacle, I have to decide if it's gonna go over or under. So here, I'm gonna make this one go behind this other one. And then it's gonna come down behind so I don't have to draw it then it comes down and 
There we go. And I'm going to keep doing these. So if you're having trouble, make sure you watch how I do my tentacles. This one's going to go over. Since this one is over, I have to erase. They kind of look like worms, don't they? Now remember, if you mess up, you can always erase. And some mistakes are hidden when you color anyway. Now I said I was going to do five of these noodle tentacles, but I think I might actually put like one or two more. And these are going to be behind. So let's see, let's start one here. I'm going to go behind here. That means I'm not going to draw it. It's going to go behind this. Behind this. And then it's going to come down. There we go. And now I'm going to do another one over here. Let's see. So this one is going to be in front of this part but then it's gonna be behind the other ones. So let's see. Let's make it go over here. So I'm gonna erase right here. And then I'm gonna erase right here. And now I have all of my shapes. I see that this tentacle over here is much longer than this one. And I kind of want them to be sort of even. So I'm going to make this tentacle a little bit longer. Not a lot. There we go. And that's personal preference. It isn't necessary to make them all the same size. Jellyfish have all sorts of sizes for their tentacles. Now, because I like to draw eyes on everything that I do, I'm gonna draw little eyes on the umbrella of my jellyfish. I don't know why I like doing that, but to make eyes and a mouth on your jellyfish, I'm going to make two eyes first. I'm gonna put them kind of low. So I'm gonna start with a circle shape. And again, if you mess up, it's okay. You can always erase. And then I'm going to make another circle shape. And you want them to be pretty even in size. That way it doesn't look like they're confused. Now inside of the circles, I'm going to make another little circle on the top right. And then a little circle on the bottom. These are going to be the shines of the eye. So if you look at someone's eyes, there's light hitting the eye and it's not completely one color. Now I'm gonna color this part in. Now I'm just doing this with my pencil for right now, but when I get the markers out, then I can color it in with that. There we go. And now I gotta make a cute little mouth in the middle. So this can go right in between the eyes, just like that. Now I like to have a background for my drawings. So let's see, he is in the ocean. Uh, I think it's a he at least. So I am going to draw hmm, maybe a piece of seaweed over here. And we kind of already learned the shape of seaweed. And then another line that's wavy. This is the other piece. So that's my piece of seaweed. 
and then I'm gonna put a line in the middle so it looks like kind of like leafy then I'm gonna put a couple of little bubbles because when I see pictures underwater I usually see little bubbles I'm gonna do the other side too Now these could be any size you want. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the floor. So the ocean has a bed is what it's called. And that's just the ocean floor. So to do this, I'm just going to make a line from this side of the paper all the way to this side of the paper, but it's going to be behind my um, jellyfish. So it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I want my line to look kind of squiggly. And it's okay if it goes up and down because the ocean floor is not perfect. It's just sand. And sand isn't perfectly flat. These little dots that I'm doing is just to let me know that this ocean floor is sand. And maybe I'll even add a little seashell on the floor here. So let's see, what kind of seashell? Well, I know that there's one that kind of looks like this. So you can make that kind of shape or you can do it like this where you make this shape and then go like that and then add the lines after and you can even add a little fish somewhere so let's see I'm gonna add a little fish up here you can make one that looks really simple like this um, there's a bunch of different ways to draw a fish. Let me draw another one. So you can start off with this oval shape like this. And then add a fin on top. And a fin on the bottom. And then the tail can be fancy if you want it to be. That's my little fishy over there. And I think this is pretty good. I like it like this. So I'm actually going to outline it and color it in. You don't have to outline it and color it, but I like to outline and color. So I'm gonna color it in and I'm gonna speed up the video. Alright, so here's the finished product. As you can see, the only part that I left white on my paper was the shines in the eye. I like to try to color as much of the paper as possible, but it's okay to also leave a blank if you have no crayons, colored pencils, or markers. So here is my little jellyfish. Thanks for watching, everybody.